Hey guys, it's my cloud. Welcome back to my channel. So I decided to make another video since I have the time and um, I have been getting a lot of requests about doing a handbag collection video and I'm quite excited to do it because like I said, I've never done it before. I'm not going to go into too much details about the bags because I don't want this to be a long video. Not that it will because I don't really have a lot of handbags, but um, let's get started. So I'm going to try and show you the bags in order of when I got them. So I'm going to start you off with the very first handbag that I ever bought. And when I bought this bag, I said to myself, I only want one Louis Vuitton bag. So I decided to go for a very classic bag, which is the Speedy 30 in the Damier Ibin. And this is the um, original model um, without the strap. And I said to myself that this is going to be my only Louis Vuitton bag, but obviously it's not the case. It's not what happened. Um, in fact, it's just the opposite. This is the bag that started all the craziness for me um, regarding handbags. So my Speedy 30 uh, in a Dami Ibin pattern. And I got her, I would say about eight years ago, um, just over eight years ago. And so that's that. And the second bag that I got was two years after that. And it's none other than my Neverfull GM in the Dami Azor print. And here she is. I decided to go for the GM because um, back then the price difference between the three sizes were only like $30 or $40. So I said, why not get the biggest one, right? But um, I'm actually regretting that now because I find that the bag is too big on me and I wish I had gotten the MM size instead of the GM size. But um, I don't know, I've tried to sell this bag actually locally and whenever I would get um, inquiries about it, I always have a change of heart. That's why she's still in my collection and it's probably never gonna go um, out of my collection because I don't know um, I don't know I like this bag it's just that I find it too big now on me that I don't really use it anymore a lot but sometimes I still do um, like this past summer I've only maybe used it once or twice and I feel bad for the bag because it's not getting its purpose but I don't know I think it's such a lovely bag. I just wish I had gotten it in the MM size. But nevertheless, it's still a beautiful bag and I still love her. I just don't get to use her as much as I would like to anymore. Anyway, so this is the first bag that I bought after um, the Speedy 30. And the next bag that I bought was this Gucci bag. Um, it's a handheld bag or on the cuff of your arm. I don't think it can be a shoulder bag, so I never have used it uh, that way. But um, it's called Suki and it's made of canvas with leather trim and it's in the dark brown color. And it's a beautiful bag, although I haven't really used her as much. I don't even think I've used her at all this summer. Maybe I have. If, if I have maybe once so it's a shame because it's a beautiful bag i just never uh, have the chance to use her anymore um all that much but i will try to you know use it more and put her in circulation but maybe in the winter time so this is the third handbag i have in my collection and the fourth bag that i bought was this um patina away in the new model which just means it has the vaquera strip on the bottom there and I love this handbag I just recently did a two-year review on this bag and I love her I use her also um, as much as I can especially in um, the summer it's just a beautiful bag I love this bag the bucket shape of this bag and I love her and the next bag that I purchased after this bag is my delightful in the PM size. Now I have a short story about this bag. I had purchased it about two years ago, I believe, and then maybe not even a year after that, I had sold it. And because I had heard that um, they're going to 
be revamping the style of this bag and also they're gonna come out with uh, a Dami Ibin pattern and I had sold it thinking that I wanted to get this in the bigger size which is in the MM and in the Dami Ibin prints so that I won't have to worry about the vaquera strap and um, you know what when the new model Delightful came out I actually did not like um, the style of it and the shape of it and the changes that they made to the bag so on that note I had called a few stores um, asking if they still had the old model and one store did and so to make the sh story short I repurchased this bag and I am glad that I have her back in my collection because it is a it, it is a very easy to use bag yeah sometimes from time to time it falls off your shoulder but that's not really a big deal for me I have actually made this my everyday bag this is what I use to go to work uh, on a day-to-day -day basis and um, I love her I'm glad that I got her back in my collection and yes this is my fifth bag that I bought and moving on the sixth bag that I have is my Alma uh, BB my Alma BB in the rose Indian color and I love this bag I love the color I like the fact that it's such a fun color and I use her um, whenever I can and I'm glad that I got her because it's not really um, a small bag it may look small but you will have no idea how much this little guy can fit inside and um, I'm glad that I bought her and I'm glad that I went with this rose Indian color because it is such a fun color and so yes so this is my bag and the bag that I got shortly after this one is my Alma PM in the dune color and my second uh, Vernie piece um, I love her she's obviously way bigger than the BB and it can fit a lot of stuff and I just love the color when this color came out um, last fall or early fall or late summer of last year I couldn't pass it up and I wanted to get it um, because of the color I love I don't know I never imagined that I would like the Alma um, bags but I would have to say if I were to choose what my favorite bag for Louis Vuitton is I would say the Almas I love the shape of the Almas the fact that it's triangular I love especially the Almas in the Vernie leather um, one of these days I'm hoping to get an epi uh, Alma but I don't know maybe next year because I am done with bags this year <laughs> I have uh, reached my my limit for my yearly limit for for my bags so anyway this is the bag of last fall for me and then the next bag that I got after that is a Michael Kors bag in the dune color <laughs> Or yes this is the Michael Kors bag in a dune color but it's more on the taupe uh, between taupe and gray color and I got her just in the springtime of this year and it's such a beautiful bag it's it can be a handheld and it comes with a strap inside so you can wear it uh, over your shoulder or crossbody but it's such a nice bag um, very similar to the Clooney or Clooney of Louis Vuitton that's out right now and it's such a beautiful bag I use her but mostly for for e for the evening and I love her I'm glad that I have her actually it's it's not a it's not a bad bag for a Michael Kors and the bag after that is my GST in the beige clear color of course GSTs only come in the caviar leather there she is and I love this bag this is my holy grail I try to use her as much as I can and of course you have to be really careful of color transfer or staining or the edges especially on the bottom of the bag because it doesn't come with any feet that's the only downside to this 
is that it doesn't come with feet unlike Alma's um, but there's the BB size they both come with feet so that's the only thing that I wish this bag had was the feet but nonetheless it's still a beautiful bag and the next bag is the last bag I'm gonna show you and like I said in the past it's not technically a bag but I use it as a bag and so therefore my last bag that I'm gonna show you is my um, wallet on chain or walk for short by Chanel and this is my second Chanel piece the first one was the GST and this is my second Chanel piece and I love this bag I'm surprised on how much this bag can fit despite the size of it and I'm glad that I got the lambskin leather because the lambskin leather, if the collar is light like this one, it just shows the beauty of the bag. So I'm glad that I have her and I maybe in the future I will get another walk. But um, this one I am quite liking. It just sits on me like that. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, I it was a lot of fun doing this video of my handbags and um, I decided to do it now because I don't think I'm gonna be adding anything to my handbag <laughs> collection until maybe next year summer because like I said I have reached my one bag a year limit and um, or I even went over my one bag a year limit um, so this is my handbag collection Thank you for watching and I hope to see you guys on my next video. Take care.